If you want to go from this to this, I think this video is for you. There are two different ways to get the job done, and both products are from Govi. We'll look at the simple way first, which is ideal for a monitor, and then we'll check out the more in-depth way, which is suited for TVs. And before we get into it, I realized I needed some cable management help as I was filming this, and I'll link two affordable kits in the description. The first method are these LED light bars that will work with any size screens. I know the box says up to 45 inches, but it worked with my 65 inch TV as well. In the box you find some manuals, the light bars, mounting hardware, the camera for color detection, the power cable, control module, and calibrating foam stickers. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean off your desk space as you're going to have to access the back and don't want to knock anything over. The light bars come with these vertical stands which you can just pop onto the bottom and you'll be good to go. All you really need to do is just set them behind the monitor, facing the wall, and feed the cables underneath the desk. The camera comes next. This is what will recognize the colors on your screen. This just has two adhesive pads and need to be stuck in the middle of the monitor. Feed the cables back behind the desk as well. The next step will require the cables to be fed underneath the desk, and if they're not long enough, a cable extender like this one would help. I'll link it down below. You're going to want to find a place on the desk where the controller can rest, and you'll have easy access to it. It's small, and won't take up too much space. It'll also need to be near a power source, just heads up. You just need to plug the power in on one side, then the light bars, and the camera on the other. It's pretty easy. Next you'll need to download the Govi app to be able to control the device. You'll add the device first. Check the manual if yours is different than mine, but I'm using the H6054 light bars. You're going to have to sign up for account, which isn't that big of a deal. There's a quick reminder on screen to make sure your light bar is in the right position, and this is easy to fix if not. After that, you'll need to connect to your Wi-Fi signal. The next steps will be to use these foam sticker aligners on screen. These will be used to calibrate the camera. The position should look something like this. Back into the app, you're going to have to make sure the setting is on top orientation and begin setup. All you need to do is tap and drag the four blue points onto each corner of the screen and then hit next. It'll then ask you to move the orange points to each side of the screen. Hit next once this is completed. I learned this the hard way, but the next prompt is very important. Make sure your firmware is up to date. You can always just tap this area to check if it needs any updates. After it's installed and set up, the system should just start working right away. The mode to use for reactive colors is by going to movie mode and then selecting split screen. give a strong presence and work well in different lighting environments. They basically work by averaging the color palette on each half of the screen and displaying that color. It works with gaming as well. It adds a nice ambiance that you forget is there. It does make certain moments, like when you're injured in a game, feel more important. It can also be responsive to music via a built-in microphone, which is a cool feature they included. There are also different preset effects that you can play around with to select different lighting environments if you want to. My favorite feature is that you can set the tone of white light you want so it matches the other lighting in the space. This is probably how I'm going to be using them, honestly. We can also use these on a TV with the included vertical mounts. They have an adhesive sticker on the back, and all you need to do is just attach the light bars to the TV. It's pretty easy. You'll need to go through the same wiring process like I mentioned earlier with the monitor, but then they should be working right away once you calibrate them for a larger screen. They will give the same strong presence here as well. I think they work best for movies since the color palette of movies is more thought through and it's easier to be displayed. I noticed when I was watching sports that it would either just give the color of the field, green in this case, or it would just change the color to the player of the jersey that was in focus. These are decent on TVs and big screens, but I would suggest the next product for a larger TV if you have one. The next product we have is the Govi and Visual LED Backlights. This set is for 55 to 65 inch TVs and is absolutely perfect with my 65 inch TV. There are also different size kits which you can check out. It comes with a strip of LED lights which will be used on the back of the TV, some manuals, the controller module, the foam calibration stickers, the camera to detect color, some basic mounting hardware, the power cord, and some alcohol pads to clean the surface before you use the LED lights. Before you install them, just plug them into an outlet to make sure they work. To get started, you're going to want to start by unplugging everything from the TV and getting the area ready. You're also going to want to flip the TV around so you have access to the back. Maybe get some help with this and don't do it by yourself like I did. Giving the TV a light dusting as well will help. Unrolling the strip and measuring things out will be good to help get an idea of how you want this to work. Using one of the provided alcohol pads is next and give all the edges a wipe to allow the LED strip to stick better. Give it some time to dry. The LED strips themselves are pretty basic, bendable design with a sticky strip on the back. Getting started with applying the strip, it's a good idea to start from the side where you want the controller module to be. I wanted it to be accessible on this side of the TV when it's flipped around, so that's what I did. 
It should be a pretty simple process of sticking them to the edges of the TV. My TV has a bit of a lip that I tuck them into and I think it looks actually pretty good. There will probably be some cables hanging off the corners and to address this, I just took some zip ties and some tie downs and attached them to the TV surface. It's not perfect, but it'll work. I was happy with how sleek the lights are looking at this point. Up next is attaching the camera. This is pretty simple since they have adhesive pads that make it feel secured. Make sure it's in the middle of the TV. Finding a place for the controller module is next, and I just stuck it slightly in from the edge. When I flip the TV around, this will mean it's near the power source. Luckily, the camera cord is a good length, and all I needed to do was to secure it to the TV so it doesn't move around. I used the same tie downs and zip ties to plug it in and organize the cable coming off the LED strip. At this point, things are looking good. There's an LED strip around the entire TV with a camera on top facing the screen and a controller module in an accessible spot. Next, you just have to flip the TV around so it's back in its normal spot. Like I said, get some help to do this if your TV is heavy. The last thing to do for installation is just plug it in and organize the power cable. It should be ready to go from here. The next process is the exact same as the setup process within the app as I did before. There's a time code on screen for the portion of the video on how to do that, and the ID code for these LED lights is H6199. After the quick setup in the app, this should be ready to go. This package is very vibrant right from the start. It tracks way more colors than the LED light bars. A good example of how well it does is this football game. Watch how it zooms in and fills the corner of the TV with the purple from these Viking players' jerseys. These were great for any TV show or movie I tried them with. I also think they react slightly faster than the LED light bars. They also have the same effect with music reaction, preset color schemes, and my favorite part is how you can set individual sections of the LED strip to be lighted in different colors. There are tons of different possibilities with this one. And if RGB color isn't your thing, then just finding your own tone of white is also fine. I was overall really impressed with both of these. Their color is really strong, and both of them are good for the right situations. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a cool way to light a space. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Reactive lighting is a, is a nice way to add life to either a living room or an office, and I hope this guide helped. If you'd like to check out these products, there'll be links down in the description, and that'll help the channel out as well. Another way it can help the channel is by signing up for early access to the startup I'm building called VidSembly. We're building a collaborative real-time editing software. It's gonna be a collaborative experience like using Figma or Google Docs, but with having the powerful tools like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. We're gonna be trying launching it around Q2 of next year. I'm gonna be trying to give my YouTube subscribers early discounts, so make sure you sign up at the link down below if you're interested in that. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for this video. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Hopefully I'll see you in a video sometime soon.